What's going on YouTube? This is the Method Man showing you some percent problems to help you raise up that ACT math score on your ACT. AF401 just means that it's an algebra type problem that deals with percent. I'll include the link below on the exact standard. 20 to 23 range just means it's a medium type percent problem. So reading this first problem, to keep up with rising expenses, a motel manager needs to raise the $40 room by 22%. What will the new rate be? Okay, I'm going to show you this in two ways. One is the old school method by using proportions. Part, whole, percent, over 100. What kind of information are we given? $40 is the cost of the whole room, so that goes at the bottom. 22% is just a percent that goes on the top, 100 on the bottom, so we're missing the part. Solve for the part, cross multiply, 22 times 40 is 880 equals 100p and divide both sides by 100. So you get 880 as your missing part, which represent what the room went up by. So if a room $40 goes by 880, it goes up by 880, then your answer is 4880. Boom, right there. I mean, that took about 30, 40 seconds, but you can honestly do this in your head in about 10, 20 seconds once you get good at it. Here's how you do it. Think about $40 and 10% of that. To find 10% of $40, all you have to do is move this decimal place one place over to the left, and 10% of that is $4. So to find 20%, just double $4, which is $8. That means a room that costs 20% more than 40 is going to be about $48. Or it's going to be $48 exactly. But it's not asking for 20%. It's asking for 22%, which is just a little over 20%. So by default, let's look at these answer choices. It can't be H, because that is 20%. G and F are lower than 20%, so it can't be those two numbers. And the only one close to $48 is 4880. And 62 is a little too high. So just by doing that in your head, you can do this in your head. If you're good with percentages, it's going to be letter J. Hopefully my strategies help. I'll come up with more example problems so you can get that 36 on your ACT. Peace.